Hello everybody, I'm Invisible Thief and welcome to episode 14 on my Let's Play on Terraria Journey's End. In the last episode, I attempted to defeat the Old One's army in Master Mode, but because it is in Master Mode, I severely underestimated how difficult it would be and I failed quite a few times. So, I'm going to try to beat that again in after Skeletron, but for now, as you can see, I've ended up finding myself a golfer who is right now trying to to get a golf ball unstuck from midair. So, hello. Thank you for the rescue. If I were trapped out here any longer, I would have come down with a heat stroke. All right, hello. Uh, I need a place to hang up my clubs. Nothing better than having the space to yourself. Oh, Warren Gluff. Golf club iron, driver, wedge, putter, white wind flag, a whole bunch of wind flags, golf tee, golf ball, golf whistle, golf cup, arrow sign, painted arrow sign, and then some vanity and a lawnmower. Mows pure and hollowed grass. Mowed grass reduces enemy spawn chance. Oh. Huh. So, now that I've found myself Billy, Billy Bones the golfer, now I should be able to build my golf course, which is something which I want to do very soon. But that is not what I'm going to be doing in this episode, because in this episode, I'm going to be making my way all the way to the underground jungle over to this hive and blowing up an area for so then I'll be able to fight the queen bee. Out of episode, I ended up finding myself a paper airplane from a, from a slime. Which just kind of, it's kind just kind of is a is a paper airplane. Toss it. Oh, that one did a flip. Oh, that's great. So now I have a, now I have a paper airplane. It says it's consumable, but I mean it just seems to be be able to use it multiple multiple times. Uh, where's my weapons here? And I was able, also able to mine myself plenty of hellstone. Hellstone. So now I can make myself a lava proof bug net to upgrade my bug net for when things get too hot to handle. And a molten pickaxe, which I think actually looks different, which I'll be able to use to replace my nightmare pickaxe. And I'm able to upgrade my enchanted boomerang into a flame ring, so now I have a bit better of a backup weapon in case if I run out of mana. So let me just sort this out like that. As you can see, I've made myself a whole load of buffs to be able to fight the queen bee. Because I remember them being quite hard in my in my last series, so I should hope I so I have to prepare as much as I possibly can. I've bought myself 99 dynamite to be able to beat it. And before I go over there, I should mention that I I upgraded my house. As you can see, things look different, quite a bit different. I ended up getting some dynasty from a traveling merchant. So I decided to decorate my house based on Dynasty. So I have some Dynasty lamps outside, Dynasty doors and lanterns and lamps and chandeliers, or can chandeliers, yeah. Some cups, some chairs, and I've painted the chairs and dressers and whatnot to be teal and white because I thought that looked nice. Now everything looks quite a bit better now that it's Dynasty. I also added this place here, this little thing here, which is made out of wood fencing that I painted gray, which I think looks really nice and really makes the bridge look quite a bit better. But now that I've done that, oh yeah, I figured out why the trees down here were not growing, and it's because, not because of light or because of space, it's because it had the glass wall backgrounds. Because when I took that up, now things are starting to just like that, grow just on time. I haven't actually seen one of these grow just right away. And there, there's that one. It's a bit taller, so I might wanna replant it so then when I cover in the roof, it's not just half in the roof. So I might wanna might wanna replant that. Sadly, they do take quite a while to grow, and that one didn't actually give me sapling. Why did you not give me sapling? You tree. Where's do I have a spare sapphire? Yeah, here we go. Don't know why it didn't give me a, give me a sapling. I mean, I guess I was just just a bit unlucky. So that goes there. 
Hopefully that one will grow a little bit shorter. But if not, then that is perfectly fine. So I'm going to head over to the to the the the, the, the jungle. So then I can start setting up my arena. And here we are at the 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 little uh, hive, beehive. That's what it's called. Where I'm going to be facing off against the queen bee. This is actually quite a good area, just to just to have as a as a little start because it is quite quite roomy already. I don't actually really have to do anything to this area. I mean, I I, I will, but I don't I don't really have to. I will because I bought, once again, I bought 99 dynamite and I want to make use of all the money that I spent on these dynamites because they aren't exactly the cheapest. I mean, they're not that expensive, but they're, they're, they're not, they're, they're, they're not the cheapest of things. And I want to make sure that I get my money's worth as always. So let me drop down a bunch of this TNT down here. Just to make sure that it all gets completely blown up. Oh, that one blew up a bit of the track, so that's unfortunate. But I suppose it is is fine. I'm not. I don't really use the minecart tracks that often, so it should be fine. This is already a big enough arena, actually. This is definitely a big enough area for me to fight it. I just have to make myself a load of platforms here. And then and then place them down. I ended up, I moved my magic mirror out of my hotbar because I do not want to accidentally. Oh, so that 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 hornet is really being annoying. But yeah, I don't. Mm, I ran straight into that. I don't want to accidentally teleport back mid battle. The the jungle. It is so so many things spawn in the jungle. So I have to make sure that I've. I have to, that I pay attention and the poison now, it, it may not do that much damage but it is very annoying I do not actually want to use my zapinator my gray zapinator I just realized that because the projectiles can go through walls and if they go through walls then obviously it could go and hit one of the one of the larva the the queen bee larva and then end up summoning the queen bee before I'm ready and I do not want that. I say as I as I go and use the Zappinator, I should listen to what words come out of my mouth. Because if I don't, then I'll just end up killing myself. So, I think this is a pretty good arena. So now, all that's left is to summon in the Queen Bee. I'm actually going to intentionally use this a little bit, just to... Just see if I could summon one in on accident. It may not be a big square arena, like might be ideal some of the time. There's there's a tactic where you can take it out of the biome, but I'm not going to do that just in case it no longer works. Because, oh, there it is, the queen bee buff up, and here is the battle. I wonder what will be different. I So far... It seems like it would be like it's the same. Are the bees going faster? The bees might be going faster. Oh, those stingers are massive. That's different. Those the stingers at shooting are massive. I'm actually gonna use the zapinator because my my shots aren't these shots weren't going fast enough. I'm gonna use the demon scythe when it's charging, and then when it's not, I'm, I'll use the zapinator. It's like now because. The Demon Scythe, when I was trying to use it here, it was just avoiding them way too easily. So I'm going to be using the Zapinator, the Grey Zapinator. Now it's dashing, so now I'm going to use the the Demon Scythe and make sure that I stay out of its way. Now go back to the Zapinator. This seems to be going pretty well because I, well, I'm not taking all that much damage, but I am able to still able to do quite good at taking it out. Oh, I ran into a bee, which made me get hit, which was not very good. But this fight is actually going a lot better than I expected. I expected it to go a lot harder, though that may have just been because of what happened in the in the, in the the previous episode. But there we go. 
Beat the coin to be got the tre the the treasure bag, the relic which looks quite nice, and just like that, beat the queen bee. Let's see what I got? I got the bee's knees, which is a bow which turns arrows into a column of bees, which after they hit the enemy will then explode into bees and then go and track the enemy. I got some hive pants, some bees wax which I can use to some for some stuff. The Hive Pack, which is good uh, because it increases the strength of friendly bees. And some Bee Nades, which is actually quite powerful. So, and I got the, the, the Hive one, which places Hive. Always nice. So, there's another Queen Bee Hive, not that far from here. Oh, the Witch Doctor. The, the Witch Doctor arrived. That is actually quite good. So, I'm going to... There's another Queen Bee Hive, not there. That's a dead end. Yeah, right up here, there's Queen Bee Hive. So I'm going to start the fight with the Queen Bee, and then quickly run away to make sure that I am that I can actually make it out. No, 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 don't get caught in the cobwebs. That would not be very good. Oh, I blew up that bee. Very good timing. Oh, there's, speaking of bees, there's a whole load more in here. There's, ah, stop. Stop all the bees, jeez. So there's the summon right there with a little... Amethyst at the bottom, that actually looks quite nice. This is a pretty big hive, considering how big hives can get. That's probably not the best idea because of all of this honey. Go, 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 go. And there it is. Oh, dear. That was not the best idea. Ah, run. Quick, flee, go back. No, hornet. Go, shoot. Okay, there we go. Back to the arena. Much better. Now, I should be able to take it out, and I will hopefully get the special item. Though, considering I've killed the Ike Cthulhu a whole load of times now, and I've yet to actually get it, the chances of me getting it just on my second attempt here is not that high. But there's always a chance. There's always a chance I could get it the first time too, but that hasn't happened yet. But but there's always a higher chance for me to get it second time than first time, because that's how as statistics work. So, I am going to be, hopefully, defeating the Queen Bee. I have to stay zoomed out for this boss battle, sadly, because at this stage it tends to stay above the player, and if I zoomed in, then I would not be able to see the Queen Bee, which would not be very good. Let me try and switch back to the demon side. To ta oh, that, that uh, bee just, just died. Not the bee, the hornet died. And I actually got a, what's it called? A, a, actually, where'd it go? Dropped something down there, a, a bezoar thing, which which makes it so I'm immune to poison, which can be quite useful, but it can also be made into the ink shield later on, which I actually did make in my last series. I made it. It took a long time, but I actually made it. It's at least at least it was. I'm not sure now, but it was at least the hardest to craft thing, or maybe second hardest to craft thing. But it, I was able to craft it. And I used it to, to Moonlord, and it was very good. So, I am I might try and make it again in the series if I end up getting all of the materials. I'm not gonna, gonna go after it if I, if, unless if I really have to. But, you know, who knows? There's always a chance. But, who knows? It is shooting stuff really fast because of how low health it is. But I should be able to... Oh, it's already back into the charging stage. But I should be able to take it out. Like so. And there you go. It sadly was did not drop the special item. But that's fine. I'm going to see what it is in just a moment. Let me teleport back. And see what I get from the, from the second one. So, let's see here. I got the same things. Huh. It can drop a whole bunch of other stuff. Well, I mean, I got the bee shirt, not just the bee pants, but uh, it's fine. I could have gotten a bee gun, which would have been very, very powerful. Because, oh, I did not mean to do that. Yeah, the bee gun would have been very powerful. Unless, unless if it got nerfed. I think there's a, there's a bug on my wall. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm gonna have to get rid of it after this episode ends. I don't... I don't like there being a bug just just on my wall. Go, go, go away. Shoot. No, stop. Leave. I, d I don't... I, I don't like it. I don't want to take my eyes off it, but I mm, don't like it. I'm not going to use the bee's knees. 
even though it, it, it mm, nah, not gonna use it. Could be good, but I'm, but I'm not gonna use it. I don't need two hive ones, and that should be all. But yeah, the Queen B fight. I think it's better. I feel like Chippy will have some trouble on it. I'm probably gonna watch him do it after I don't know after I finish this series in who knows how long. But I because Chippy, Chippy's couch, Chippy gaming. Another, another Terraria YouTuber, British. Oh, it's very nice. And oh, here's the here's the Witch Doctor. Since a kindred spirit in the Ethereum Dark Mages, I a pity they are our enemies. I would have liked to learn from them. Okay. Uh, Oasis Water Fountain, Cavern Water Fountain, whole load of water fountains, viewing station, and blowgun. Don't need any of those. I'm assuming you like to live in the jungle. Yep, so now I have the Dryad, the Witch Doctor, and the Painter, which like to live in the jungle. Oh, the Golfer likes to live in the on the surface. That is quite good. So, I can... Let's see. The Dryad can live in that house. The... And then the Zoologist can live down here. And then I can have the Merchant go there, and the Golfer go there. So then I'd have, because not all, because only the ones who like to live in the surface will actually stay in this house. So now I have two for each side. I'm probably gonna, here, let me take, I don't, let's see. A well-rounded golf club, best for mid-range distances. A powerful club for long distance. A specialized club for sand pits or tall obstacles. Specialized club for finishing holes. Okay, I'm going, okay. Golf balls will stay close to the ground over a short distance for precision shots. Golf, golf balls will gain tons of vertical loft but will not carry very far. Golf balls will carry very far with uh, little vertical loft. Golf balls will carry a good distance with decent vertical loft. I'm just gonna take the, the normal iron one and also just, just have a little test, just grab Grab a few bits and bobs here and there, and golf cup. To aim your golf ball in the cup, or aim your aim to sink your golf ball in the cup. Let's everyone know how well you did. Okay. So how how does it work though? I'm probably gonna need to do it on the floor. So let me put that there, flag on top of it because I think that's how it would work. Let me put the golf ball the, there. We go. Oh, it's material. Can be hit with golf club. So oh. I can, I can equip it. Hold on, what? Does it just mean that I that I'll automatically use it? Let me take the the dynamite out of that. So, we, okay. So yeah, there's there's golf ball there. So why does it say that I can? Oh. Oh, so I can aim it. Oh, and then it does that, and then arrow comes up. So, I can click on it. So, can I, oh yeah, I can change how, how much force I hit it with. Interesting, and then it can bounce. Okay, so I can really make some, some good things with this. So let me try and aim it there. Might take a bit of, bit of practice to actually get used to it. Let's see, the golf, oh yeah, you can see the bar there of the power. That's that's quite nice. Let me do it there. See if I can get it in the in the hole. Nope. Now the the cup will obviously be in the ground, so I don't need very much. Let me just try doing doing that. Nope. Too high. Can I? Can I? Yup. No. Almost. Yeah. Oh, it did six strokes. Oh, so you'll you'll do it from here, and I keep the the golf. So I can just I can just right click it. Will it work if it's in my inventory? Let me just do. Let me just hit that there, and then right click. Yeah. So it'll just it'll just reset. Will it do it if it's not in my inventory? Just hit it there. Yeah. Yeah, they will. We. Oh, that I can send it flying. You can really make some. I'm I'm getting ideas. Getting ideas. Don't know what those ideas are. So I'm assuming. Can can you like change the color of this? So then you can tell who's whose is who. 
let's see, yeah, you can change the color to a whole bunch of colors. I'm gonna try, can I, can I get a red one? Can I get a red one? Because that would fit, oh, I, there we go. Red one, hello, red, red dye. Do I have red dye? Yeah, red husk for red dye, and then the red dye, oh, they're, they're the, they're the, uh, wear fox. Let's see, red golf ball. There we go, can be worn in vanity. So I'm assuming that's just, just there. So now, if I try and put the golf ball there, now it's red. So yeah, I can, wanted to, I can try and send this all the way up to, to Billy over here. Are they Billy? No, Philip. But yeah, I can actually send it. You can send these flying. If you, you could make a world long golf course or something. So yeah, now it's up here. Over with, with Billy, whatever the na their name is. It's almost completed. Completed 10 quests. Oh, wait. Oh, is it? Yep. Oh. So it acts differently when it's on different stuff, because the when it's in the water, it does not want to go anywhere. So if it's on cloud, maybe? No, I think I think cloud also also makes it worse. So you can actually do, do like, sand pit stuff. Interesting. Does it bounce more on the wood? Does it matter what the blocks are under are underneath? Will different blocks make it either bounce more or like bounce less? So if I sent it into the desert, will it bounce a lot? No, no, it won't. That's interesting. So you can actually make stuff with like with sand pits and and all sorts. See, so it doesn't go as far when it's in the water, or when it's when it's on sand. Then when it's on grass, or, or on wood, oh, that goes really far. So yeah, this seems, can you hit it down through platforms? Can, can you hit it down through platforms? No, you cannot. Okay, now I know. Interesting. I don't need to that around. That's, that's quite interesting. Now I can I can make my very own own golf course. Interesting. That's not what I'm going to be doing in the next episode, but maybe a episode soon. Maybe maybe I can start working on it. Probably not finish it because I want to do a bunch of different courses. But yeah, might be able to might be able to start on working on a on a golf course. That would be interesting. But that's not what I'm going to be doing in the next episode. Let me see what the, what the queen bee drops, the special thing. It is sparkling honey, summons a honeybee, the secret ingredient for royal bees. Ooh, I want, because honeybees are adorable. So I want, want that. Want, give me, give me the sparkling honey, want it. But in any case, in the next episode, I'm planning on making a a lighthouse, either on the left or right side of the world. If I make it over here, it might make sense, because like when you think of lighthouse, you might think of it on like a, a rock in the middle of the ocean. So that's kind of what that is. So I might be able to make a, a lighthouse there, or maybe like at the edge here. Probably, probably. Let's see. If I'm going to make a place for the angler. It would make sense if they were, if they lived, like, alone over here, on their own little place. As opposed to with, with everyone else, and there's more room over here. So, I'm probably gonna make the, the lighthouse here, somewhere, in this area. I need to make it tall, I need to make it have a light at the top. I wonder if there's anything new made out of this. So that's what I'm going to do in the next episode. There doesn't appear to be anything new with, with the bee armor. I'm still waiting for a blood moon to get the special, special summon. But, this is all I have time for in this episode, so thanks for watching, uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode. Three, two, one.